difficult to do, so I'll now show you how I go about it. So for an LED that's uh, rated at uh, 3 to 4 volts uh, and 0.8 of an amp, um, and you want to run it off a power supply that's uh, 12 volts. So uh, if you, the simple way is to ignore the resistance of the LED uh, and think what resistor would you put in the circuit um, to give you a current of 0.8 amps. So by Ohm's law, volts over amps equals R, um, then you have your 12 volts on top and your 0.8 underneath and that gives you a resistance of 15 ohms. So if you put a, a 15 ohm resistor in the circuit, uh, the current is never going to exceed 800 milliamps, or 0.8 of an amp. Um, the resistance of the LED will only add to the resistance of the circuit and lower the current. So this is a rough way of doing it, uh, but if you want to get the maximum brightness out of your LED, uh, the, the other way is to do an experiment. I use a benchtop power supply uh, and I also use a variable resistor. This is a big old one um, so it can cope with the quite high currents. Um, you can use an ordinary one if you don't keep it on for long. <laughs> so uh, the first thing you do is to set the voltage to uh, the, the voltage of your power supply, um, in my case 12 volts. Um, then uh, a lot of these benchtop power supplies, uh, you can set the current as well, which is very useful. So um, to do that, uh, you short the two terminals and then turn the display over to the current, which is two amps at the moment. And now I wind down the current. Uh, where am I going? Now the LED is rated at uh, um, 800 milliamps but um, I always play safe, so go, uh, I don't know, a bit over 700 <laughs> should be safe. Now we can't kill the LED because it's going to be limited by the power supply to uh, 720 milliamps. So uh, first of all, you have to check that the resistance is set at its maximum resistance of 175 ohms. Um, then uh, we're all ready to uh, connect up the uh, LED. So there's a certain amount of light from it even with the high resistance and obviously if I lower the resistance um, it'll it'll get brighter. Now at some point and uh, there we go and now it's at, with no resistance it's being limited by the current on the uh, benchtop power supply. So what I want to find is the point on the resistor where it changes from limiting the current. You can just see this light here um, and that is that shows when the current limiting comes on. So it's about there. So now that's the test done um, so I just need my meter uh, and I'll set that to ohms and now I just need to see what the value of the resistance was that uh, I ended up with. 14.9 ohms. So because I'd been cautious about limiting the current to 720 milliamps rather than its rated 800, I ended up with the same value resistor as my sum in this case. But I have to say, I do prefer doing this than the sum. It's more real and less theoretical. The final resistor has to be a power resistor to dissipate the heat. And the power of resistors is measured in watts, which uh, is amps times volts. So for 800 milliamps and 12 volts, uh, that's about 10 watt 